ministry. So tomorrow now is a, is a tight schedule. So come early tomorrow, we are going to finish the matter of your, of your life. Settle the battle for once. After this July, you are in for a new level. If you obey every instruction I give to you, things will work in your life. Don't stop it. It's one of the conditions. Don't stop it. Then, if you want to facilitate your miracle, come with a bottle of water. A bottle of what? Water. water. I say, I say water. Okay, water. Come with a bottle of water. Yeah. Come with a bottle of water and then I'm going to speak into that water. Something will happen. Something will happen. And then by the grace of God, we will come with another special anointing oil for favor and you know, for healing and deliverance. So that in case you have an issue of healing, you want to be taken care of, there will be special oil for that. You can also take it. And I'll tell you how to use it. Things will happen in your life. Things will happen in your life. Some of you will, will run to the bathroom and flush out all the no, jackals in your body. Everything. The sickness will literally come out of your body in the bathroom. With everything, you will vomit them out. In Jesus' name. Do you believe the Lord? Yes. Tomorrow is your appointment. Tomorrow is surgical operation. I have done this planning. I just changed the method of how I wanted to do it. I just, I just done it. Now, if I didn't set my hand on your head tonight, you know what? My, the Spirit of God over my life has stretched across this hour. You have not missed anything. Listen to me. You have not missed. Somebody is saying, He didn't lay hand on me. Don't bother. Something has touched you already. I'm telling you. Somebody just whispered it right now to my ears. He didn't lay hand on me. But I'll transfer that time with you right now. But if you are still down to me and see me in the front after the service, then I will be happy with you. Because you are doubting to us. <laughs> Stand up. Pastor, okay. you have an answer? You have an answer? Mama, you have an answer? Yes, um, let everybody come on time as your pastor has said. Please be here at 10.30 in your seats and obey as she says walking in the house. Hang on, hang on. Are you a woman of God? Come. I see the word of God in your mouth. Come. 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 Pastor Grace. Can we join our hands together? And can we stretch our hand, the other hand across this people? Join those hands and we stretch it across the street. Ask for one thing you want from the Lord tonight. Lord, give me, and what is that question? Tell the Lord, Lord, give me a sign as I come tomorrow. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Lord, give me a sign for my miracle as I come tomorrow. Give me a sign even tonight as I lay on my bed for the miraculous tomorrow. I 
I know where they are moving. I know where they are moving. They are marking the register right now. Miracles are taking place right now. The Spirit of God is in all for you. Give me money. 
And those who spend money on me, they never like it. Some of them are they don't they, they spend what they, they claim not to have yet, they don't like. I don't know. You say you have for you spend what you have and then you never like. I pray for that grace. And tonight, there's an angel that works with me. Some of you, that angel will visit you this night. There's a woman here, she's here from another ministry. I told her last Sunday, I said, there's a, the angel of the Lord will visit her and then will visit For almost seven days now, the fire is burning and she said, she, she can't say she wants it to be. I said, do you want it to reduce? He said, no. I said, it's just seven days, you want it to end. I told the woman last Sunday, in that church, I said to her, the angel of my ministry is coming to appear to you in the night. And she was at home. And she saw the shadow of the man. She didn't see the face. I told her, I will be to appear in my shadow, in my formation. I know him. And when, when I'm talking, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not a Sunday school pastor. I'm not a Sunday school pastor. So that it will come in my formation. It will appear when it appears, you the atmosphere of your room will change. You will know he's an angel that was he's a, he's a dangerous machine. God gave it to me as my backup. He, he, he works with me. He doesn't, I don't go out without him. And the angel appeared and, and, and set up everything I said will happen at that night, and the angel left. She saw where he was going. He said, Apostle Paul, he didn't wait long enough. I said, how long do you want him to wait? He's got a lot of job to do before daybreak. <laughs> and that angel will appear to you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It will fix the trouble in your homes. That's his assignment. When he comes, he's coming to fix the trouble in your home. And you will have peace. Jesus' name. Yeah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.